Guys, today's video, I want to talk about how sometimes, like, a good man turns bad, you know, or downright evil. You know, why, in my opinion, why does, it's such an interesting topic because a lot of, I watch a lot of shows and also, you know, when you think about it, you can relate to that. Like, let me explain. So there's also a book, it's the Lucifer Effect, is how good people, how a good person can be influenced and, you know, become bad. I'm not going to talk about the book, but just, the thing is, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's say, let's say there's a horse, you know, and this horse, it lives on a farm with a family and this horse is constantly smothered in love everyone loves him everyone is petting him he has the perfect conditions you know no one's hurting him boom perfectly <clears throat> now how is that horse gonna be that horse is gonna be happy that horse is gonna be nice that horse is gonna be kind it's not gonna hurt a soul right and it's because the only thing he saw was good experiences. So he got used to the good experiences. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now on the other side of the spectrum, let's say there's another family that has a horse. But this horse, no one loves him. No one gives him any love. All they do is fucking punish the horse. Everything he does is fucking punished with a whip. You know, he's hurt, he's in pain, and it happens constantly, every single day. You know, they beat him, they don't feed him regularly. You know, now, how is that horse gonna be? That horse is gonna be mean. That horse is gonna bite. That horse is gonna despise people. Because he's he's got used to his circumstances <clears throat> and the only thing he saw was bad so you can see that the point I'm trying to make is the environment you know sometimes the pain and the environment pushes you so far that you lose yourself you know that you lose the good in you or you become not exactly what you wanted to. You know, maybe past traumas, betrayals, people leaving you, you know, all of that and people hurting you. That all, you know, it makes you harder. It makes you stronger, of course. It makes you stronger. It makes you a stronger person. But it also makes you a colder person because your heart is sensitive. You know, yeah, your mind is going to be strong, but your heart is going to get colder. Because now you're, when you constantly are met with disappointments and failures, one day, it's just too much. So, you just, so one day, the man is tired. The horse is tired. So it turns. You know, it turns... So it can have a better life. Like, let's say a horse could accept that pain and still try to be good. You know, just like a person. But it's constantly happening. Nothing's changing. So the horse or the person loses faith. They lose faith. They lose the only belief, the only hope that it's going to get better. So they are forced to do something or to change in a way that is going to make it better. And that either means doing something bad or becoming bad or whatever. Now let me give you an example. Let's say a person is desperate for money. They don't have a dime. Nothing works. No credit, no loan, no friends. They can't get the money, but they need it. That man is going to turn. If that was the best person in the whole world, he's going to turn to evil. He's going to start thinking about where can I get this money? Can I steal it? Can I rob a bank? You know, that's why we have a lot of bank robbers and shit like that. 
That's why good people turn any and sometimes you see on the TV, you know, how could this good person be so bad? Like or sometimes you have someone you you have someone you know and they suddenly become like evil, bad. It's not that they were like that. It's the outside circumstances and the pain pushed them so far. You know? Sometimes it pushes you so far that you don't have a choice but change. You know, a lot of TV shows are like that. As you can see, I, I like Breaking Bad, for example. Breaking Bad, one of my favorite shows. You, you guys like it? Definitely mention it in the comments. So, Breaking Bad, you know, the guy is a high school teacher, the best person ever. He's nice, he's smart. But everyone makes fun of him. He's a loser. You know, then to turn his life around, I don't agree with what he's done. But when you grow up, you know, when you are a kid, you always think about the heroes. You know, you always admire the heroes. But when you grow up, you start to understand the villains. You know, you start to understand what the villains are about and why they've done what they've done. Because, yeah, if you are, if you are, if you want to be great and being a hero doesn't work, you can only be a failure unless, unless you decide to be a villain. You know, that's what happens in most TV shows and movies, you know, the person who wants to be great but cannot be a hero they still want to be great, so they do it on the other side of the spectrum. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm just saying that sometimes, you know, life pushes you, the pain, you know, your experience, it pushes you to a limit, and then you just step over. You just step over a little bit. And then that starts to be a down rock. A downward spiral you know it starts slow a step two steps three steps you know and it slowly starts building up until you realize you look yourself in the mirror and you fucking realize what have I become you know it's like in Star Wars when Anakin Skywalker all he wants is power and greatness you know and before he knew it he was this fucking monster machine that everyone hated. A mass murderer, you know, before you knew and just saying that sometimes the circumstances and the environment pushes you. Pushes a good man to do bad stuff. You know? But it's all in your decision. Of course you should be a good person. You know, that's what makes us people, that's what makes us human, that we can adapt and choose whenever, and that we can tell what's good and what's bad. You know, I'm just wanting you guys to understand that sometimes that happens and why that happens. You know, it's really interesting how, how easily a good person can be pushed so far that they, that they start doing bad stuff or they become a bad person. You know? And before they realize it, they don't even know who they are anymore. So, you really have to be careful. You really have to be careful with stuff like that and you really have to keep it on. But you also have to understand. You know? So, that was it for this video. You know, I hope you liked it. I hope it helped you out. It opened your eyes a little bit. If it did, definitely like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace out.